silver metallic look uh, was inspired by some jewelry I recently got from this company called Montana Silversmith and they have beautiful silver sterling silver jewelry I absolutely loved what I got this particular like makeup look was inspired by this cuff that it's a feather cuff and it's super cute it's really really uh, classy it's tasteful I like I don't like crazy uh, out there jewelry I'm pretty simple in my taste and I saw this and I was like oh my god I have to have it it's so cute and I also got a bolo tie and this bolo tie I got for my stepdad for Father's Day so that was like my Father's Day present and he really really loved it it was really really great quality and the third piece that I got is this uh, three chain necklace and it's coming, it has a locket on the end. So like the first chain is a cross, the second is just beads and the third has a little heart locket and I think it's really, really sweet and very cute and um, just like a very trendy type of necklace. All of their jewelry you can find online if you guys like the pieces that I got or you want to look more and see what else they have. There will be links in my description box down below. So you can go ahead and check out either the specific pieces or just their website in general and look at what they have. So before I even turned on my camera, I had already applied my foundation and did my eyebrows. The first step to this look is to apply a transition color into the crease. I used Unseen from the Dark Matter Stack by Melt Cosmetics. Then I went over to my Urban Decay Smoky Palette and I used Armor as my next transition color, for which I also took it to the brow bone and the outer V of my eye and underneath my eyes as well. For the next color, I used Slanted from the same palette and I put that in more into the outer corners and the outer portion of the crease as well as the under, under the eye. Obviously this is three shades of gray, so we want to add one more color of gray to really intensify that smoky look. And so I went and used Dagger from the same Smoky palette and deepened that color into the crease in the outer corner of the eye. Once everything was nice and blended, I just added a little bit more to darken up the, the under the eye portion as well as underneath the brow bone because I wanted a more dramatic effect. Now, to make this look 
a little bit different and step outside of the box, I used the same fluffy brush, the blending brush, and pulled the silver colors towards my hairline and kind of used the silver as a contour that extended out of my eyes and towards my temples as well as the high cheekbones. You can see here I actually added more of that darker color because I didn't like it and I wanted to go back and add more to make it more intense. I kind of feel like Catwoman. Anyway, so this turned into a dramatic all over silver look and so I intensified the silver gray contour and added the really pop color the metallic silver on the center of my eyelids this is from the buxom custom palette and then on the inner corner i used a white shadow which i actually use from the same custom palette and then i decided to highlight my face with that same white shadow because it's very opaque and it's really a strong white color and it reflects really nicely so i did that on the sides of my forehead the Hi, my high cheekbones, my cupid's bow, the center of my lip, the center of my chin, the tip of my nose, and down the center of my nose. This is obviously for dramatic effect. I would not go out like this. So it's just to be like a little bit artsy and really wear the silver on my face. I also decided to add it on the collarbones as well just to make them look skinny and show a little bit more I feel like this made for a nice you know dramatic effect as well And finally, I tight lined my lower waterline with black eyeliner and smudged it out to, once again, just add to that smoky effect. And I also put my false lashes on off camera because that would be a struggle to do on camera. It never goes as well as you'd like it to. Now for the silver punch, I use this Graftobian silver face and body paint. And I just put that all over my lips. And that is about it for this look. Be sure to check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter as well. I'll catch you guys later. Bye!